The Colour Vivari Film Festival attracts thousands of young film enthusiasts as getting tickets for screenings of its 200 plus films is relatively easy and affordable. Artistic director Carol Och says Young Blood's also contributing to the main competition this year, which gathers 12 feature films. I would characterize the selection in this year's main competition as uh, slightly more radical than last year. And uh, we have a couple of uh, films made by esteemed European directors such as Marco Tullio Giordano from Italy or Jan Jakubkowski from Poland. But uh, next to them we have uh, a bunch of exciting uh, first-time filmmakers uh, such as uh, Hector Asligizos from Greece or um, uh, Hussein Tabak from Austria. And they really brought uh, to, into the competition a completely new, as I say, radical and uh, spirit of, of revolt and, and politics. Among the pictures competing for Carlo Vivari's Crystal Globe is Hey Road by Portuguese director Rodrigo Arias, a fresh new approach to the Western. Arias hitched the timeless philosophy of American moralist Henry D. Thoreau's essay Civil Disobedience to a traditional Western wagon immersing his cast in the Western environment. While the story is set a hundred years ago, the move is powerful not only for its bewitching style, but also for its extremely tangible parallels with the present. And, I, and what I wanted to do in this story is that um, the main character, which is, uh, which is influenced by the West more than the film itself, that was the basic idea, so the main character would be some, somebody bringing American culture into his own country's uh, culture. And it would bring it from them, from this philosophical and from this fight of human rights uh, point of view into Portugal of the beginning of the 20th century. The Slovak Czech debut made in Ash by Slovak female director Iveta Grofova opened the East of West competition, a flagship section of the festival that this year pays special attention to brand new first and second films by new filmmakers from Central and Eastern Europe. Major Nash tells the story of a Romani girl who leaves her native Slovakia for a job in the western bohemian town of Ash. Using non-actors, the director obtains a rawness and maximum punch. This film I started making as a documentary film. I started working on this film as a documentary. I met real people from the Czech town of Ash and gathered material. But I started to realize that finding a protagonist could be a problem, partly because real women's stories are played out so quickly and I wouldn't be able to record them. Another reason was that it could be perverse to film real women in such intimate situations. Maybe it wouldn't have worked out, making the result, paradoxically, less truthful than a feature film. The winners of the 47th Carlo Vivari International Film Festival will be announced at a gala ceremony on Saturday, July the 7th.